Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and I really find it hard to believe that I'm already making a brand new Legacy lightsaber video from Galaxy's Edge, but here we are yet again. Monday, May 17th, we have another surprise release Legacy lightsaber out of Disney and Galaxy's Edge. This is the third week in a row we've had an unannounced lightsaber dropped upon us. This is getting kind of out of control. When I've said I really hope Disney makes more lightsabers, I didn't think I didn't I didn't mean every week. You know, it's dadding up fast here. But we literally had the dark saber dropped upon us today by Disney. Again, crazy. I literally just got back from Galaxy's Edge. I, as soon as I caught the news, I just got off and work, I literally just got off work, and I just you know scrolling on the internet and I see that they they got it. Boom, got in the car. We went and grabbed them, so I haven't even taken a look at this thing yet. But, so we're going to do this together, and we're going to take a look at the new, brand new Legacy Lightsaber, Dark Saber, from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Now look at the size of this case. The typical cases, I don't have one handy with me, but you know, they're like a fraction of the size of this. They're like, you know, about maybe 10 or 12 inches for the smaller ones, and the bigger ones are maybe like 16 inches. But this is like three of them put together, because what's nice and about this and what they really they had to do there's no other way to do it is it comes with its own special blade for the dark saber you know the like basically looks like a katana type blade because there's no way they were going to use the regular blade the fat you know big fat blade system that they use for all the other legacy sabers with the dark saber without it looking totally ridiculous so it does come with its own blade it does come with its own hilt stand, which is also very nice too. I'm sure because it's very thin, you know, once we get a look at it, it's very thin. So I'm sure it's hard to balance on, you know, the traditional uh, legacy lightsaber hilt stands. But I'm going to try to use one of those, you know, because I sort of use in my display case. I'm going to try to use one of those. But I am rambling. We want to see the goods. I love, love the emblem that they used for this. Now, another thing to note. This is a cardboard a case. The traditional le Legacy lightsaber cases are plastic, so we do have a cardboard case. It's about, I want to say, 30, 30 inches long. If I had to guess, I don't have a ruler on me. Backside, dark saber, or you know, traditional labeling, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and it does show you how to use the hilt stand and then interchange the blade on the back of the case. One of the very few, actually, I think it's the only one that actually comes with its own hilt stand. Some of them come, some few come with a, a belt clip, but this is the only one that comes with its own hilt stand. Now, we're going to do this together. It does have a magnet, hear that? It's got a magnet closed lid there, so it doesn't, you know, keep flopping open on you, but we're going to take a look at it together. And there she is. The Dark Saber in all its glory. And what else we got in here? I actually haven't even looked in this thing yet. I just tore the, it was wrapped in plastic. So I just ripped the plastic off. So that's, that's part of the plastic for the stand. The other part of the stand, that's the saber itself. I'm assuming the blade is underneath here. If it's not, well, that'd be a surprise. If <laughs> there was no blade in there, but uh, it's just a plastic, really lightweight plastic stand. That's why I'm going to try to use the, uh, the metal Galaxy's Edge stands. This feels very flimsy to me. I don't trust it on there. Also, plastic for that part of the stand. Not a fan. I want it to look like everything else. But we're going to pull the hilt out here real quick. It's not very big. Very light. Very small. As you can see, it's very thin. It's got that traditional, like, katana-style samurai-style uh, look to it. But black gloss finish. These are... These aren't rubber grips. I would have thought this would have been rubber grips on this, but this is a, uh, it's like a plastic grip. There's your belt clip if you're going to use it. This is all metal. The black is all metal. It does have a emitter cap in there to make it look like uh, there's no blade. So that would pop out, but I do like the look of that. And the other, you go. this little end cap just kind of pops off. And that is where you're going to insert your blade. Whenever we dig it out of this box, I'll put that over there. But yeah, extremely light, very small. Now, I do have the uh, Hasbro Pulse Black Series uh, Elite also ordered. I was not expecting this to show up. So I thought I, the first Darksaber I was going to have is the Elite. 
but we have a legacy lightsaber so whenever i do get the uh black series elite from hasbro pulse in it should be coming in shortly i'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison we're going to take a look at the two and see really what is the difference from i've seen some few pictures the elite series does look a lot nicer than the legacy series so that may be something to hold out for if you if you're looking to pick up a dark saber but take another quick look at this and then we'll uh go ahead and dig out the blade very sleek looking i do like the look of it it does feel feel very light i'm not a lot of the other legacy sabers are very heavy so this is just different very different to be a very light i guess maybe the new the mechan the mechan the mechanisms in there to run for this new thing do the new blade style that uh it's a little lighter a little thinner there you go Up underneath the uh that foam there's our blade now you already told the difference here between a legacy blade and this thing the legacy blade's got the old twist and turn style this looks like it is just see it's got three prongs on the end i don't know where you can see that but it's just gonna looks like it's just gonna push straight in i saw some of the cast members there who were testing it looks like the blade is just gonna push straight in but there you go there's uh there's the blade that is included with it it is nice that it is included now what also the this whole box set uh hilt blade hilt stand in the case and everything was 200 bucks really not that bad of a deal you know if you're getting everything included because the uh elite series i believe that started at 249 or 259 or something like that i don't even remember what i pre-ordered it for as soon as they said it was available i just kind of blacked out and clicked the buttons <laughs> so but uh yeah you see you go basically you pull that little emitter cap out and i believe it's just gonna push straight in there yeah, well look okay pen to flow fail i did not do well in geometry look what i'm trying to do here you think i would have uh lined those up uh, pen to flow fail there if you guys enjoyed that one but there you go line them up it does make the uh exact same blade ignition sound or the uh, blade lock-in sound as the other legacy saber so that is kind of cool and you heard it had a nice little snap when it went in there let me see if i can should have read the instructions okay this little knob or little tab, whatever you want to call it there, that's how, that's your blade lock. So you're going to push it in to pop the blade back out. But hear this nice snap as it locks into place. Hear that? Yeah, nice solid. Feels very tight in there. The Legacy Blades or Sabres feel very loose in there. That's, I don't like the blade style. They feel very loose inside the, uh, you know, the uh, emitter or the, uh, the hilt. This feels very solid, but oh, I just accidentally turned it on. I don't even know how I did that. Ah, we'll get back to that in a second. I accidentally hit this uh, gray button here while I was, you know, fooling around with the blade, and that actually did ignite it. So that is going to be your blade ignition. Now let's let's pay attention this time and let's turn this bad boy on. It's got a great sound to it. I'm not. Hopefully that shows up on camera. But the blade is pulsing, just like, just like the dark saber normally does. It's got a very sharp, pulsating type blade to it. I love the sound. Sounds great. Does have, does have a your swing. Does it got a clash? Does have clash? But yeah, very cool. Very nice sound. I really like the look of it. I'm gonna, let me find my, I'm gonna turn this light off in my room real quick. And I wanna see what this looks like in the dark. Because with the, being a white blade, it's kind of hard to see with my light on. So I'm gonna, I like hitting that button. I'm gonna turn the lights off and we're gonna try this in the dark, see if it looks any better. All right, turn the ceiling light off. I do have my saber case light still on, but let's try this again, see if it looks a little better. There you go. That looks a lot better on camera. I'm hoping, hoping that the, the, the flickering of the blade shows up on the camera. I can't tell through my, you know, my little playback screen, but yeah, very cool. I love the look of it. I just now noticed, you know, 
Look how it's glowing down into the uh, into the emitter end here. That's actually pulsating as well. Very cool. Definitely, they definitely stepped out of their bounds here with this one. It's totally different. Sort of like the uh, Ahsoka Tanos that uh, changed colors. That was a new new type of technology they used for those. Now with the dark saber, we got a whole new setup of type of blade, um, sounds, everything. So I mean, this is very promising that maybe they can start using this type of push and lock uh, blade for future ones. We were just talking about a Yoda lightsaber, Yoda lightsaber, uh, not that long ago, and but it would need its own specific blade because it's such a it's gonna such a small hill and such a tiny blade that it would need its own special blade but maybe with this new technology that they're using in here with the you know the push and lock style blade that something that they can do with a yoda so i would love to see a yoda overall you know it's not overly flashy looking like i would expect like from the pictures of uh the um, Elite Series version, that one looks spectacular. I can't wait to see how that compares to this one. You know, the blade is so plasticky looking, even though, you know, it's it's kind of, I don't know how else they would have done this. It looks, you know, it looks like a plastic toy. That's the problem. You know, it's it's hard to make it, you know, to make it look authentic. It just looks like a big plastic sword. But overall, it's still very cool. The technology is awesome. I love the look of it. I love the feel of it. Very light. So, you know, a great hilt if you want to carry it. Very light. And, yeah, a very reasonably priced uh, dark saber if that's what you're looking for. Like I said, it was 200 bucks for the everything, the hilt, the stand, the blade, box, and all. It was 200 bucks reasonable you know honestly y'all included you know you get you'll get over that price you know for any of the sabers now with the blade and everything in and help stands and all so it was a very good price but yeah i like it i'm glad i got to pick it up and just let me know what you guys think are you going to be picking up a dark savior of your own you're going to hold out for the elite series that should be coming out soon i believe they said like june or july so it should be coming out soon the elite series i have not heard anything about that you know coming out or being released yet but this is a surprise three weeks in a row we've gotten legacy lightsabers from disney after we didn't think we were getting any till october so this is awesome i i, I would like i would love to see more lightsabers but we got three weeks in a row you know my wallet is tapped out so let's give it a rest disney for a little bit and let us all get our bank accounts called up before we decide to release any more lightsabers but like i said let me know if you're going to try to pick up one of these dark sabers very cool another great addition to the legacy lightsaber collection now that they've released three and three sabers in three weeks i now see why they're discontinuing so many of them so that doesn't surprise me now where they're getting rid of a lot of stuff because they're apparently bringing out a lot of new stuff to replace it. So that that's great. I'm okay with, I mean, it's unfortunate they're discontinuing stuff, but I am always down for new new stuff and new hilts. So another cool addition to the collection. I can't wait to get the Elite Series. Pick one up for yourself if you're interested. That's Pendaflow's look at the Darksaber. Thanks for the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. And this has been the Pendaflow Darksaber. Legacy lightsaber, it's kind of a tongue twister perspective.